What is up guys, my name is Brandon and this is DIY Vlogger. In this video, I'm going to be brainstorming some ideas that I had on my DIY Raspberry Pi Nintendo Switch console. I've been working on this with my friend Josiah from Happy Mad Scientist. His link will be in the description below. Definitely go check out his videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to sketch what I want the console to look like. And it is going to be run by a Raspberry Pi with RetroPi. And RetroPie is basically just the operating system to be able to run all these games. And the games aren't going to be newer games, it's going to be more like old games like Game Boy, you know, maybe GameCube, stuff like that. So the other components I'm going to be talking about more in detail in just a second. Alright guys, so here you can see I have the uh, little sketch of what I think the uh, Raspberry Pi console is going to be what it's going to look like um, so I've got this 7 inch screen here and it fits I didn't measure any of this but it fits pretty good so I'm thinking of either doing speakers on the bottom of the console or on the sides um, of course underneath the screen is going to be the uh, controller board, the Raspberry Pi, uh, the battery, and the uh, Power Boost 1000C. So it's going to be like that underneath. Um, these are some of the batteries that I might use. I've got a uh, 3.7 volt 2500 mAh, another 2500 mAh that's a little thicker but smaller. I have this 8000 mAh battery which is, it's basically like two 4,000 mAh batteries sandwiched. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to use this one because uh, it has this circuit board on it. I might be able to take that off just so I can connect one of these like LiPo plugs to it, but uh, I'm not really sure. So the other things that were, that uh, Josiah and I are thinking of doing is <coughs> we want it to be just like a uh, Nintendo Switch, so we want there to be a, a dock. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting like a USB-C um, port on the bottom, so then you can just plug it into a USB-C plug and it will provide power and video out to the console. So then you can just plug it in next to your TV and play on the TV. Um, but I'm not sure how that's going to work because the Raspberry Pi is going to be providing the video out. Um, so that will go to the USB-C and then the power boost is going to be providing the power. So right now the power boost has a micro USB for power. So I could just rewire that to a USB-C and so like if that's here, I could Put that I could like rewire it down here and make it into a USB-C but I'm not sure if I will be able to wire the power as well as HDMI to the USB-C so we got to work on that think about how that's gonna go um, I don't know if we're going to use two speakers or not um, we're still working on that as well and we did we think we did figure out the locking mechanism what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a, the controllers are each going to have a USB uh, plug sticking out of them and, or one is going to be, one controller is going to have a male and the other one is going to have a female USB. So then you can plug them into each other and then the console itself is going to have both a male and a female so then you can plug them into the console and to each other. But the problem with that is I'm not sure um, <clears throat> I'm not sure where, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to wire the controller to the USB um, because it's going to have a lot of wires and a USB only has two data wires. I'm pretty sure it only has two data wires, a ground and a power. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. 
but we'll see if we can figure that out. Um, <clears throat> those are the main problems. Um, the other things I might do is I might use this for the, uh, instead of the controller board, because this is an Adafruit Kippa, and it plugs into the Raspberry Pi like so. Like this. If I can actually do it. So it plugs in like that to the GPIO pins, and the screen plugs in here. And that way, the LCD controller board isn't going to be taking up a ton of space. Um, but the problem right now is I'm not sure if the one of the one of these is fried, either the kippa or the screen. So I'm not sure. So I'm going to figure that out right now. So that's the main problem I need to fix like pretty soon is figuring out a screen um, a screen thing I can use because that's like the major thing of the build. So I had another screen. I actually don't have a screen right now that can plug into this because this is a 50 pin um, plug and this screen is a 40 pin. This one goes to the Kippa. Um, so that's not going to work right now. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how that's going to work so I might have to buy another screen or another kippa depending on which works and which doesn't and I don't really know how this uh, multimeter works so I'm just kind of winging it I'm pretty sure I have to go to the ohms and basically you just Look for signals. Looks like the screen might be dead. Because I'm pretty sure pin one is a ground pin. And we're not getting a reading. So this screen might be dead. Now let's try the uh, Kippa. We got something. Okay, so I think that means that this is working. So it looks like the Kippa is fine, which is strange because when I tested the Kippa on the Raspberry Pi with the screen plugged in, as soon as I plugged in the Kippa, the Raspberry Pi would shut off. So I'm not sure how that works. I guess I'll get a new screen, a new 40 pin screen, and test that out. And if that doesn't work, I'll return it and get a 50 pin and then we can use the uh, LCD controller board. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have the USB port sticking out or not. Um, that's another thing I might uh, just put a one USB port instead of two stacked. And I'm probably going to take off this ethernet if I do that. Um, so this is going to give us a lot of extra room. We can do this set up with the screen like this. And then that will allow us room for, we might be able to put two speakers here facing, facing this direction, or we could face them down. Um, we probably won't be able to face them upwards because the screen is gonna be taking up all of that. I guess we might, but probably not. Um, so that is good. We might actually be able to use the speakers I have that I worked on from another video. Looks like these magnets are sticking to it. So I have these from another video that I was working on. Yeah, that, that could work. We could, we could make that work, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. All right, guys, so we have some new developments. I have bought a few new, thi a few new things, and Josiah and I have been talking about what to do for some certain things. So I'm going to go over those really quick, and then we will wrap up the video. All right, so the things I bought was I bought a new screen. I bought a controller for the controllers that are going to attach to the side of the uh, console. All right, so the new stuff I bought was I bought a screen and a controller for the controllers on the console. And so what I've decided with the screen is I'm not going to use the Adafruit Kippa as I said earlier in the video. So I bought a new screen 
and that means we're going to have to use this uh, LCD driver board uh, which is going to take up a good amount of space but we'll be able to work it out so that's kind of a bummer but that's how it's going to be and with the controller I have figured out how, how I'm going to do the ports um, originally Josiah and I were talking about using a USB port to plug the controllers into each other and to the Raspberry Pi but that's going to be a little more complicated than I originally thought so I've decided to use jumper cables which are these little guys they're just wires uh, with little plugs on one end and plugs on the other um, but you can get different kinds you can get male female plugs if you want so I'm going to be using these these controllers are Bluetooth so the only thing we need to do is plug them into each other so with the controllers what I'm going to do is plug the wires into one end of the console and go they will go to the other end and then in each controller will be corresponding wires to plug into the side of the of the console so that's how I'm going to do the connecting the controllers like the Nintendo Switch did alright guys so to recap what I've talked about in this video we drew up a little model of what we think the console is going to look like. We tested out the placement of the items, and we also decided on what kind of uh, on what kind of LCD screen to use. And we also figured out how we were going to get the controllers to plug into each other, and how we would get them to plug in to the console. Alright guys, well that's all I have for this video. I hope you did enjoy my brainstorming video. This is a different kind of video than what I've been doing before. Uh, so definitely leave a comment if you like this kind of video. Maybe I'll do these for other kinds of projects instead of just kind of a tutorial style. So if you guys did like the video and enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. It'll really keep me going with this project because it is going to take a while to get this project moving. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, peace out.